Hello. Greetings, greetings. Um, yeah, I'm in the middle of all kinds of chaos, uh, but uh, we are getting started. I have paint, I have brush, I have water, and like I said, working on the present. Well, I don't mean like the here and now. I mean like physically, uh, last moment present, because like I said, I can't read a calendar apparently. Um, but yeah, stuff stuff is going on. Um, I'm actually... Hmm. Anyway, I am in the process of uh, getting a file uploaded from my computer, I mean, from my phone to my computer. Alright, so, in the process of doing all the things, um, so, uh, I'm currently checking to see if the file is finished its upload. What are you? You are other things. I think I did, didn't I? Sorry, this is taking me just a moment to see where these files are. So, okay, cool. Okay, so... My phone says they are, they, they are done, but my files have not yet synced. So, rather than sit here and be working, uh, waiting for that for a bit, because um, I've noticed that for whatever reason they seem to take a little while to pop over from my phone to to my computer. Um, you know what? I'm going to do a quick little thing. I'm going to tell it to pause syncing for a moment. And then I'm going to go ahead and tell it to resume. Because I think it'll be a little bit faster refreshing that. But anyways, um, like I said, I do have stuff to do. I have to do this before I can work on the other stuff anyways. So, um... This is where I am bad craft painter. I work right outside of the bottles instead of pouring it into a palette. Now, you wonder, you, know, so you might be wondering, why are you working right out of a container? Why is that potentially bad? Well, if there's anything that is potentially wrong with my water, meaning like there's potentially bacteria or something in there, I risk uh, if I'm dipping my brush down in there. Uh, contaminating my paint. So that's why. So if you ever just open up a paint that you've used similarly much much later and you smell it and it seems off, that might be why. You may have unwittingly exposed it to some bacteria. Oh, make sure I'm in frame. I just globbed some on. I'm doing a super f quick job because I really want this to get laid down and start drying. And I do know I have lots to do today. Um, I am still moving forward with the finishing of the print. I did not get around to doing the second lifting because I am terrible with time sometimes. And I was working on this in the background. So one downside about doing this type of technique where you just blob on a bunch of paint in the middle if your paint's a bit transparent you might see where that kind of seeped in a little bit more so you might need to do like a second coat to make sure you have it thick enough to cover any marks like that um i'm just gonna slide my tablet pen back here before i accidentally slap some uh, purple paint on it 
was like, I could go ahead and take a moment and put that away. What would be the fun in that? Wouldn't it be more fun to lose track of where it's at? <laughs> Actually. No, I'm not likely to lose track of it because it's right on my desk and that's where I use my tablet. But it is likely to become an obstacle later, so I will be putting it away. It's just I want to get this paint on so this paint can be drying. Because I still have to do the second, the, the back of it. And I don't know if I'm going to do another coat. But yeah, where the contamination comes into play is when I put any extra back into the jar. I'm just going to kind of wipe it off on the top rim. Go ahead and just clean up that excess. Get rid of some of these stroke marks. See, like... This is like the hunter, honey badger don't care of craft projects as far as just how I started it. I also don't want to overbrush. So I'm trying to do this real fast before the paint dries too much, where I would be overbrushing and making it streaky. Um, one way to slightly counter that is to go in the grain pattern of the wood. That way, if you are leaving brush strokes, they're less likely to be seen because it's the wood pattern. Or is it? Um, so, yeah, there's that. I'm getting a little bit of excess coming down across the side, so I am going to paint the sides real quick. I also want to do that before this is too dry. I'm already wearing purple paint because, of course, I am. It's not really a paint project unless you're wearing some of it. I find this true even in watercolors. I'm wearing paint at some point. All right, so this side's pretty pretty clean, pretty finished. This side definitely can use the benefit of the second coat, and since it's where I originally started, that's why I'm kind of working my way back over there. Now, if you kind of know the personality of your paint, you can get away with this. Like, I know this paint would be halfway drying-ish. By the time I'm over here, and I'm not super worried about brush strokes because I am going to be sealing it later. A nice uh, clear coat, and I am off frame, sorry. It's the same process, just down here where you can't see it. Try to keep things interesting. Right, I have one little blob there. Alright, so pretty clean, pretty, pretty straightforward. Um, I'm gonna hit this edge first. I am doing both sides of the sign with this purple. You will see what else I'm doing with it in a moment. Um, sorry. Off frame again. Let's slide this back so I move back further. You can see what I'm doing. Just hitting the edges and then trying to be quick about a lot in the top if I got any overhang. Um, I'm going to do this side next because that's not where my hands are. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, I kind of came up with, like, mentally and visually what I was going to do with this last night after um, I wound up doing a couple other things. Uh, on this side, I'm just going to kind of more so knock down any bits that are standing up on the edge. I just want to make sure my, my edges are fairly clean. I don't want a big glob sitting there. And then we do a quick check on the top, because the top is really what it's all about. Yeah, I have some little edges up here. Let me just knock them down real quick. Tap, 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 tap. Alright, and we're done. And this is on my nice little cutting board guy. Clear cutting board on my cutting mat. A uh, quick paintbrush rinse. This is that poor paintbrush that I really need to... To go ahead and clean because it has so much acrylic crammed up in the top. So I have treated this brush badly during its lifetime. It is part of that same set for that unknown number eight round. It's a, just a half inch wash. Nice synthetic brush. Super cheap. It doesn't shed bristles, so not that cheap. Um, cool, my files are synced. Perfect timing. So what I've done in the background is I've gone ahead and uh, prep my Cricut, which, you know what, I'm gonna grab a wipe real quick for my hands. I don't want to get purple paint on everything, and my son has decided to say hello. In... in traditional fashion for a baby, just... 
It's either screams or coos. You don't know what you're gonna get. Oh, and now he's playing with his sister. That's cute. Anyways, um, yeah, so there's that. Um, just because I'm neurotic, I'm gonna go ahead and get the bit of paint that I can see off. Since this is the shiny side of the, uh, the cutting mat, it should all peel up really, really easy, which is what I'm hoping for because, I don't know, I don't want it to be too visually cluttered. Uh, just for my own, you know, purposes with, like, doing videos. I like surfaces that can be cleaned multiple times. Um, now, let's see. So now it is some of the digital work. And I need to make a folder in here. So just some digital maintenance. Um, let's see. Uh, we'll do related. Just that way I know what's going on. I found this really cute shop. Actually, I found it a secondary shop too. So I found two shops that had a bunch of stuff that I would be very happy to use. And... What I did was I bought me some digital assets to use in my Cricut because I am not currently a person who deals with SVG files very well. I, I just... not yet. That is not my, my skill set yet. I do plan on learning, but for the moment... Um, yeah, there's that. So now that I have these section off into a folder, I'm going to go ahead and swap over the view. This is going to be my regular desktop. We'll just bloop. Sorry for the uh, Inception-ish moment there with the uh, stuff, but here we go. D&D related. I need to go ahead and extract all these guys. doing wrong okay so oh it's not gonna let me do multiples is it just let me extract all of them deleted browse oh, da -ba -da -ba -da. I want to go back to my folder I'll go up here as a shortcut folder. Unzipped. There we go. And extract. Extract everything to that folder. Make things easy for us. Do do do! So these are not just pieces for this particular project that I'm throwing together with as much speed as I can muster, uh, but these will also be elements that are uh, for some future projects. One of them is a personal project. Um, I just thought it would be, be cheeky and fun to put on a tank top. There's a, a roll to seduce and the image of a dragon, these cool antique like banners, and I think that would be a cool tank top for me because I'm very much so a tank top person, especially summertime. Um, actually, I, I'm year round with that. I, I tend to just pop on layers as it gets colder, like tank tops year round, because a lot of times I'll be working. Um, I, I also, you know, cook and I use the oven quite a bit, and it's a lot more comfortable for me to be running around in a tank top when it comes to cooking dinner, anyway. So, there is that. Um, what else? Why is this only one folder? Did everything go into here? No, I think... Hmm... I think it has not finished doing the rest of them. Okay, so I think I need to tell them to extract on their own. 
Yes, please extract. Alright, I was hoping that it was a process where I could just highlight them all and just blam and be done with it, but uh... It's like, hello, extract all. You want to tell me like where you're going to extract to? Am I just using too many resources right now? My CPU is a little busy, but that's not terrible. No, I don't want to see the files. Just browse it. Yes, unzipped is fine. Add extract. All right. That's really cheesy. As, as advanced as we've got with technology, are you telling me you can't just highlight a bunch of folders and unzip a mass amount of stuff to them? Alright, so I'm... Whoop. I didn't want to open that, but I tapped it twice. Don't double tap unless you mean it. I am such a nerd. Alright. Uh, luckily, it is still... focused on the right folder. And yeah, I'm still letting the playlist kind of do its thing playing stuff in the order that it was done in. Okay. This one might take a little while um, because it is the largest of the files. No, I don't want to open you, just extract. So, yeah, um... While I was puttering around with trying to like rush my label stuffs to um, to Cricut, like to, to go ahead and knock out the, the Cricut access items, I did get one more project done, which I'll show you guys in a bit. But um, in the mo in the meantime, with that, I also um, I, I just wasn't done. I I didn't have my brain there. I couldn't put more time into it, honestly. The flow of the days has shifted just enough that after the stream, I'm having trouble doing the upload and creating a thumbnail. Like, if stuff is a little bit off kilter as far as, like, I've broken the routine, which it's what I feel like has happened. I've, I'm kind of, like, just a little bit off lately. And it it's impacted, like, how quickly I'm making stuff. So I'm, like, either uploading the video and just, like, dealing with the thumbnail later. but sometimes like the description part like I wind up being stumped there it's like I'm just talking about what I did and that's depending on if I can even remember what I did <laughs> so that part's gotten a little bit choppy um, to the point that like yesterday I uploaded the YouTube video of yesterday's stream today that just got posted at noon I am not happy about that what I think I'm going to try first before I rework everything is just give myself a little bit more slack and moving forward I'm going to try to have the YouTube videos up from the live stream at by 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time so I'm gonna to try to give myself a little bit like an extra hour and maybe that'll be a little bit easier as far as like dealing with the demands of my kids and getting done what I need to do like you know the, the adulting thing and then getting back here to finish uploading because right now I've been cutting it a little bit too close and it's really really starting to like eat into me in a weird way it's not something that I expected to to, to feel um, so there's that um, this labels folder is ridiculous there's so many wonderful label shapes so I'm happy that I, now I, I own this asset I'm not renting it from Cricut I could do what I need to do with it and I am really excited to see what I can design for my journal there because now I can do it in steps where it feels digestible instead of just slapping it together just because I temporarily have access. Um, you know, I, I absolutely love the Anna Griffin stuff. I'm also in that weird like balance point of I don't have money to just have like stock like a whole freaking room dedicated to some scrapbook paper because I feel like making a card. Like that's something I do on occasion. I've 
also been building a pretty substantial uh, digital asset library, not not like these SVG files that you're watching me like un, uh, extract right now, but um, other stuff, um, like basically like digital scrapbooking kits. Those are similar to what I've done with the, uh, the mermaid frame uh, that you'll see. And I am, at least my brain is starting to work on the next step which is like whatever the regular stream is going to be, or maybe I'll just do like a monthly theme. But because I've kind of broken from Mermaid, I feel really awkward in like continuing to use that Mermaid frame. So, I don't know. I do feel like I want to load that back up and use that when I get to the other prompts. That way you just know right off the bat, like, oh, cool, we're doing a Mermaid uh, challenge prompt and because I, I do want to keep revisiting them, but I want to revisit them, like, pacing them a little bit. Because to me, like, mermaids are a summer thing. Like, springtime, that's the forest. That, that is my fairies. Oh, uh, same thing with fall. I am a big, big fan of farce in the fall. Because the weather is just lovely. There's slightly less pollen out. So, like, nature's, like, slightly less trying to kill me. <laughs> But uh, I think that's the last of our files that needed to be extracted. So I'm going to show you the behind the scenes of getting that um, uploaded to Cricut and cut out. I found I had um, it's dry erased vinyl, which is probably not ideal. Um, it's very, very glossy where this um, the paint that I'm using is not, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a top coat. Um, looking at how this is dried, ideally, this this word wood was thirsty. Um, I'm pro I pro probably want to give that a second coat, so I might not get to apply this during the stream. I, I might English. Let me think. Um, I might just slap the second coat on and do that right now, and then maybe by the end of the stream, it'll be dry enough I can apply it. That way, I can get one side done on. On camera but uh, I, I do need to wait a bit of time for the the other side uh, to, to be able to do the other side there we go I can get there eventually I, I, I like the idea of getting larger chunks of a project done on screen I think that's a little bit more satisfying as far as like viewing ability so I'll I try um, let me get to well, this one's absolutely fitting. We'll go, we'll go into this one. Um, actually, I'm going the wrong way. I need to be over here. And I need to go into upload. I don't know why it's still saying I'm a Cricut Access subscriber, because right now I'm not. Uh, that expired at midnight. All my all the stuff in Cricut Access says it cost money. But here's that. Um. Yeah. Ooh, cool, drag a drop. So I can just go over here. Sometimes it is so handy that there is a... But oh, there's the... Um... Holy cow, I can words. Um... I'm gonna slap a tag on it though. Just. D D for my own ability to search it later. I'm gonna hit upload. Yes, it is a cut image. Uh, one of these images I'm going to do as actually like a digital file, so we'll hop over in Photoshop to go ahead and slap together a card. And to do Okay, so I'm gonna hit cancel for the moment because I have a project. This is the project that I was talking to you guys about that I, I did. This is the last thing I did with the uh, the Cricut Access. So I got both of the sign blanks done and I did this with the uh, the pen. So it's just on heavy cardstock on that uh, that 12 by 12 that I cut down. And I figured, you know what, at least I can go ahead and do something cute for my, my little girl. So this is Probably copywritten because it is an access and I don't have access right this second. 
but I did have access when I used it, so there's that. If you want this image, go to Cricket Access. I'm not sponsored. Um, yeah, we want to do save your previous project and replace it with the, yeah, replace it with the new project. We want we want blank. All right, so now I can go to my upload. Go ahead and grab this image and. Did I select it? Yeah, add to the canvas. All right. This is 100% fitting. I, I, I don't know if you guys are D&D nerds. You know what? I'm going to hop back over to the software. We're going to swap the view for a second. We'll go back to the camera so I can go hop over to Twitch and say, hey, see if there's any questions, any, any stuff going on. Hey, Rowdy Robbie's with us. Hello. Greetings. I'm glad you, you, you made it. I know there's, you had some stuff going on. Some heavy stuff. So, it's good to see you. See you back. Um, I am a little bit cold, so I am unfortunately dipping to go ahead and grab my jacket. Yeah, so at this point, I've gone ahead and closed my art, uh, my, wow, English. Um, I've closed my music streaming software that I've been using, so... I'm pretty happy with the stuff that I have downloaded so far. Um, I really need to get more of it opened and um, review it just to see like what fits the themes, and that way I can start making like actual playlists instead of just oh here's the this one album and right now it's like four albums are just on the playlist. And I just let it slowly go through all the tracks. All the tracks are fairly short. Um, what am I on? Oh yeah. Actually, let me slap another coat of paint on. So we have our file imported, but like I said, I want to give this another coat where it can dry a little bit better. I'm just hitting this with a little more paint. So yeah, as, as far as random, this is probably as random as it gets. And I don't know why I'm painting this right up by me. That's what I would do if I weren't on camera. Sitting right there. Yeah, like a, a little. I don't know if that is a hair or. I tend to refer to like weird things, like the adhesive. It's like a adhesive boogers and like a paint booger. A little bit of dried paint that probably came off the lid. Oh, and I'm being bad about framing again. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do better. Alright, slap some of that over here. Get this excess moved over. I don't want to move the excess over too fast because if it winds up drying where I don't want it, that's bad. But at least this way, I should be able to get one side of this done. You guys can take a look at how the project's coming together, and I can show you what's going on for the next steps, which will be exactly the same process. Okay, I think I have too much paint, so I'm gonna blob a little bit of that back into the jar. Don't do that if you're a good crafter. If you mean to do like a lot of projects with paint, you don't want to have your stuff smelling weird while you're painting. This paint, honestly, I use it maybe... Actually, when was the last time I used this? This is like a, a bottle of the, the cheap craft paint from Walmart. I think the last time I used this was... Was it last year or the year before? Um, I used it for like doing some splatter for some tissue paper. That would be around the uh, bunny time of the year. So I have small ears here that might be listening. That don't need to know stuff. All right, so I'm trying to get these edges here because I was sloppy with this side. It's just kind of splattered everywhere. It's going on to the back a bit.
I wish you guys could like just verbally yell like, yo, you're getting out of frame. Probably do that a little bit less. So right now this, these edges are getting like a second proper coat. When I do the other side, this will be the edge that I hold on to. And the other two sides would be the ones getting the nice proper coat. Let me just come back on the top, knock down any little bits that globbed on here. And hopefully that's pretty smooth. It was funny, I got a ridiculously large pack of these and I've barely used them. I really need to make more signs because these are cute. The only downside is that I don't have a drill. I do want to get one of those little hand drills because there's plenty of times where like if my kids are sleeping and I wanted to go ahead and get this done like really late night you know, working on projects what I could be doing is using that little hand drill because that, those things are not very loud I like the idea of having a Dremel and whatnot but those are going to be when I upgrade to another space where we have a little bit more more room uh, where I can have like a separate room and just close the door and the kids will also be like bigger and have more space, so that'll be fun. All right, I'm um, I'm just wiping paint off my hand. I figure you guys are probably not interested in seeing that, and it would be really awkward to do like right between the finished piece and the camera. There's also like chances I might drop the brush or something crazy or the wipe right onto the piece while it's drying. So let's not do that. We'll skip all of that because I am accident prone. You guys have, have no idea. You haven't seen me use an X-Acto knife. At some point, I'm getting bit by that sucker. Sometimes it's bloody. Sometimes it's just dug into the edge of my fingernail, which is why I tend to let them go just a little bit long. It's like just long enough where I generally don't get the tip of my finger. So like, you know, the, the whole nail polish thing and like being girly is like, it's not so much, well, I mean, I like the color, but the, the, the fingernails are actually protective. I, I jab my fingers less when I have a little bit of nail that the blade will catch on. <laughs> so I, I have defensive nails. And honestly, if I were like shopping somewhere and somebody decided to try something, you know, they would also be defensive nails for that purpose too. I also like to think of improvised weapons. I know this is a really, really weird topic, but... Uh, I, I will seriously think about that. And I think it's because I've, I've lived in some, well, not lived. I, I specifically worked in an area which was, had kind of a rough neighborhood. And it's just a consideration that I, I have in general is just improvised weapons like pens. Um, when I'm shopping at a grocery store late at night, it's like frozen lasagna. Yeah. If you ever hear some guy like try to jack my car you see in the news headlines, like, man bludgeoned with lasagna, that was probably me. <laughs> because, you know what, those suckers are heavy, and that would hurt. And if that's what I can reach, I am using it. Apparently, I am a violent crafter, because I, I don't know anybody else who talks about this kind of randomness online. <laughs> so, there's that. Um, but yeah, uh, the, the crazy pack of wood, I, I figure I can hold this up high enough and it's plastic, so I'm not going to wreck these, but huge pack of these. I need to be making more signs. I've thought about doing like conventions at some point when I build inventory. Like this is something that I'm kind of building too. I kind of miss doing booths sometimes, like fairs and whatnot. Like I'm not always a people person, which makes it very awkward if the event you know, comes up and that's the day I'm like, yeah, I'm not feeling it. But for the most part, I'm, I'm good to, to go ahead and move forward. Um, I'm going to grab my beverage for a second, so I will be right back and we will move on with the rest of this process. So you get to see more, more behind the scenes in just a moment. That's better. So back to the active stream, which is 
knowing that I was going to stop for the beverage is why I didn't switch you guys back to the desktop view yet. Alright, so just warning, if you're sensitive, uh, we're going back to that desktop view. So you're going to see a little bit of like the Inception-esque thing with the frame within the frame thing for a moment. So there's that. Go back into Cricut. Um, my happy little wooden um, square piece is like five inches. So I need to make sure this fits comfortably where like visually it, it works within the five inch space. So I need to bring this down a touch. We'll just see how that fits. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I think that I'm going to uh, do a general shape in the background. Let's see blank canvas. Can I see the blank canvas? I don't think I can see the blank canvas. Okay, that's me selecting the, the general space. Um, let's see, we're going to just find a shape. Come on, give me a free shape. Why is my stuff not loading? Alright, so while you're thinking, let's go ahead and save this. I'll just do Dice Goblin. It's good enough. I'm, I'm not gonna do a collection. Alright, um, the small one's moving from headset, back to headset. So you might, might hear some random noise for a moment, and that's fine. Um, there we go, shapes are loading now. I'm gonna grab the rounded one because my thing is a slightly rounded shape. And this is just for me, visually. Um, I don't mind looking at these grids initially when I'm working on something, but there's just something about seeing the finished piece, like seeing how it's going to look together. Why are you not moving back? Okay, well, I'm going to worry about resizing you to be a 5x5 five five then. This would be a great time for me to probably take out, like, a ruler. There we go. Alright, and then what we're doing is move over to color sync. I'm going to see if I can just change these. No, that's not doing what I wanted to do. Okay, let's go back to my square. Purple. We're good. Now I'm at least getting a better idea of all this stuff. I wonder if it will... Yes, it will. Nice. Nice and simple. So... It's not bad. I think, though, I'm going to move it slightly up, but that's fine. That's placement on the physical object, I think, as far as, in general, where they're at, they're good. I'm not going to tool around with trying to get it to fit exactly. Basically, what I wanted to do is to look at it and see that nothing was touching the edges. So, I'm good there. Um, I don't need this square, because now I can see what I'm doing. Great, and then I'm actually going back to the upload because I kind of named it uh, a little bit ahead of time because I want to upload another image. And that is the other piece that is getting cut from vinyl today. Um, let's see, go back to here. Zipped. And that one. Are you, are you 
moving. Did I do too much? Okay. Alright, and then... I know that's not how you spell D&D, &D, but I like that as an abbreviation. It just makes it simpler for me to look for stuff. I am very much of the fan, like a fan of like using the ampersand, but there's so many issues with a lot of software saving it. They'll add like number percentage and like, oh no, I don't want to see that. But uh, what I'm going to do, because this is my 12 by 12, mm -hmm. I can be smart and I can prep future projects. That would be a good idea. Yeah, because I already have a 12 by 12 sheet of vinyl, and because these are only 5 inch, I could fit 4. Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'll duplicate this one, for the, uh, the this is how I roll image, and then I'm going to do the other one, um, get on on top of my thoughts here and then I'll, I'll I'll use the other the the second side of the image um why are you taking so long to add to canvas like did I click that did I forget to click that like please move on okay so while that is taking its sweet time oh nice I did it twice hey that's that much faster for <laughs> for us watching um, yeah, yeah, I did two of them. Cool. That's fine. Um, I'm gonna pretend that these are all in white. Just for visualizing. I'm going to move that square over. That's fine. I'm gonna turn one of these off, because I don't want to be distracted by it while I'm dealing with the layout. But, yeah, I want to choose this square. Slide. Oop. Wrong one. Minimize. Minimize. I love that when you see the basic cut file, that all these SVGs are there and they are pristine. Like, I can just pick and choose each individual element. I don't have the whole font, but you know what? That's fine. I have other fonts. I have plenty of other fonts I can be using for other things, so I'm happy for that. Um, what do I want to do? I want to move it. I'm gonna mess with this position thing because I don't know if it's going to do what I want it to do, but it's worth a try. So let's move it to the six and good enough. That was so much easier than what I was going to do. All right, so this is the one that we have. I'm just gonna scroll up here, resize it. So here we are, like, that's basically the reason why I don't automatically know what I'm doing in design space. It's just I don't spend enough time just tooling around. I really need to more often. Alright, so we'll see how it looks in this space. I feel like it's a little bit naked at the top and bottom because this is more rectangular. But I don't think it looks bad. I think I'm going to make it a little bit larger. I'm going to go right up to those edges. And this is where I'm going to grab a ruler and actually measure this thing. Because if this is too small, I'm going to really screw myself over later. So do the smart thing. Grab your ruler because wooden shapes are not always the size that they claim to be. And this is pretty damn close. It is the tiniest little smidge lower. Um, let's see which measurement that is. Is that a sixteenth? It's like one sixteenth off. And you know what? That is good enough for how I've spaced that. So we are good. I'm gonna leave this how it is. Um, I'm actually going to delete the one that I blacked out. Because I could duplicate the one that we already were messing with. And that way it's already the right size. Because it would be absolutely silly to go ahead and just keep messing with this thing when I don't need to. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to just slide it down here. Um, I'm going to go back to our square. And we're going to mess with the position. We're going to put it down at 6 inches below itself. And I 
You know what? I don't need it at the six. I'm gonna do it at the five. Good enough. So now I can go ahead and work on the last image, and I'll go ahead and get that cut. And I will actually have something done early for next month, because this is when it would, would be needed. Um, I kind of hope my roommates are, uh, are not watching, because then they'll have a little bit of a preview. But they are out in a movie, so I know they're not watching right this second. But uh, yeah, uh, let's get back into upload. Upload an image. Do 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 do. Now I could go ahead and do the card in Cricut. I'm not going to. I'm just going to pop that in my printer because it's just like one quick crease down the center. I'm not going to spend the time doing the alignment, putting the tool in the machine. That's not worth it to me for a, a really simple card. Like I'm not even doing trimmed edges. Um, I already have purple envelopes because I like purple. I also like red. Red is my favorite color of all. Um, what am I doing? Oh. I'm sorry, I'm just randomly thinking. There we go, back out of here. Okay, good. I, I heard the the higher pitched elements from this. That sounds kind of like a, a harpsichord. I was like, wait a minute, what is that? Because I, I thought maybe I had a YouTube tab open. I was going to be like, oh god, don't tell me I've just had something else running. What happened? <laughs> this is so adorable. Okay, so... I know I'm getting a little bit close on time, um, but once this is off, we will work on the um, the next bit, which is the the card, because that'll be that should be fast. I don't know. I I underestimate time basically all the time. So I'm going to switch this off for a second. Sorry, not to warn you ahead of time, but it's just kind of feel like it's a little a little bit too prying like it's one thing for you guys to see like just general which windows I have open but it's another thing to be like seeing all my tabs because I, I do a lot of stuff like on a personal basis in my tabs as well as business and there's degrees of like where I'm comfortable with sharing on those things so there's that um yeah so everything looks pretty good uh, no other combo in Twitch currently going on, so we're gonna go back to the screen. Yes, I can do that. Alright. So just warning, uh, little Inception tiles for a moment. Alright, and then we have our kitty. I think this kitty is so freaking adorable. Oh, my little man's upset. Yeah, I think he's just waking up from a, a quick nap. <laughs> Alright, and I am doing one minor thing. I wish this would let me zoom. Oh, it does let me zoom. Okay, so since that's doing its weird loading thing, anytime it's doing that it makes me a little bit nervous, so I'm just gonna do a quick, like, save. I'm probably gonna save this as a different name later and then just delete this one, but for right now it works. But what I wanna do, the one thing I don't like about how this cat face is designed, like I don't mind the round shaped eyes for it to be like kind of cartoony and kind of cute, but something about the cheeks 
they freak me out, man. So I'm going to just do like really little circles. And I'm going to fill those in because I don't like them. I know it's a silly thing. We're going to make these small enough that they fit, but enough that they're not going to obfuscate anything else. Um, you know what? I want to zoom in a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. So basically, we're going to add these little circles, and we're going to go ahead and hit the weld button um, after I make them both. See, I'm, make, I'm sizing the one. I'm going to duplicate it. So I can go ahead and just park it over on the other side, because they should be the same size elements. And... Okay, cool. The uh, keyboard uh, circles will actually work too. So now we go into this. And I can go ahead and choose where those are. So we want to do... I guess control, and then weld, and one of those disappears. All right, so now the other circle, and we hit control to select that layer, and we weld that one on too. All right, so now I have a cat, and I'd rather put this guy back in here. Like, will you let me? No, you're not gonna let me. That's fine. I think it's cuter this way. Um, yeah, I think that's all of our layers done. So we can go ahead and just tell this to go ahead and cut, other than I need to get rid of that, that square. So we can go back to regular size. What I'll probably do later is take the actual cat image that I uploaded and I'll go ahead and weld that one too because I want to get rid of the, the cheeks. I might even give it like actual cat eyes. I would prefer more cat shaped eyes like from the uh, the project that we did before. Maybe I can put those shapes together. But anyway, that's that's other fidgety work that I'm not going to mess with. Um, we have a mat. That size is 12 by 12. Why are you doing this to me? No! Holy crap! No fracking way, Cricket. Okay, we're gonna hit cancel. I don't understand how- like, these things are grouped. Are they not locked? Should be the little like, lock icon, I think. I'm gonna go to this one. That one locked. Now it's unlocked. Maybe flatten. Maybe flatten's what I want. Make this all one element. Why does it say print and cut? How is. Okay, that's not, not what I want to do. So I think I can highlight this one and this one and group them. Okay. I hate that it keeps opening these back up. Okay, these are already grouped. Why do you kick these into separate fracking things? Like, what the? Okay, now that I group the one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the mat and see if that one is exploded into little bits. Yeah, it's still exploded into bits. Holy crap, I'm not going to be able to cut this this way. Why are these not all welded together and like cut as a similar shape where I can just lay it all down? Like the way this is, this is unacceptable. This is freaking ridiculous. I'm going to need to do more research and figure out 
what it is I can do to make these one cohesive thing. Because, wow. I've done pieces in, like, separate things. I wonder if maybe... Maybe instead of grouping it, maybe I can weld all of that. We're gonna try that. This is probably my last attempt at all of that because, like, this is fracking crazy. Alright, now we're gonna move to make it. We're gonna see if this is one element. It is one element. Sweet. Alright, now we know we can just weld it. So if you're dealing with this issue, now you know how to fix it. Just go ahead and select your group. Tell it to weld. Tell it. Basically, this is telling it this is all one thing. Which, I love that there's separate elements in the, the SVG where I can go ahead and break this apart easily. But as far as cutting this and applying it in one sign, you want to weld it. Because... Unless you have hours to go ahead and spend realigning all of that stuff with, like, no frame of reference, that is fracking insane. Alright, so all of these are welded now. Now I can go ahead and tell it to make it, because at, at first I was like, I don't have, like, six hours to do this. I already have a kid who's getting a little bit fussy, and we're almost at the end of the stream, so... Um, more likely to let him ride out. Oh, he's nodding back to sleep. Okay, well, he can nod back to sleep. Um, that size is 12 by 12. We're covering a good bit of area here where I don't feel like I'm just wasting material. I might not tell it to cut right this second. I might... Well... Yeah, I don't have enough time to weed this. So, you know what? I'm not going to tell this to cut because I tend to be a little cheap with my material. If I have space, I'm going to cram something else into that space. I think I have... Um, couple other cuts. Maybe I'll, I'll go ahead and do the uh, I will to seduce as like it'll just be a silly little sign at my desk. I'll probably just do that one in black because the dry erase vinyl is in white. So that's the only, op only option there. I'm going to switch this off for a second. Just pop over to Twitch. See what's going on. I like to try saying hi. Alright. And oh, we should have just enough time to do the Photoshop thing. I already have cardstock loaded up. Um, now I just need my image. Do to do, do. Back over here. I really need to rename these. Good file maintenance. Remove the thing that says zip folder when you have an unzipped folder. It's good file maintenance for whoever was creating the zip files, but once you've extracted it, like, that's... You want to find the things that are not zipped when you want to find the things that are not zipped. Oh. Right-click, rename, and... do 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 Um, as far as for tomorrow, tomorrow is going to be a little bit more normal. Um, I'm going to get back into the... Uh, finish lifting that sap green. That is something that got parked off to the side because, like I said, I'm a little bit of a spaz when it comes to time. I don't always realize what's coming up when, so that's why today is this. This is the day of um, <laughs> for that party. Um, so, yeah. Um, I figure this is pretty pretty perfect for a uh, a card. Do a quick open with some Photoshop. Great, hit move. Everything's on one layer. Should slide over here, right? Really nice. Now I'm gonna side this is up a little bit just to fit the card a little bit better. And just handy dandy. 5x7. I love that Photoshop just is like, yeah, pow, that's centered for you. So that makes life easier. I'm gonna get rid of that background layer because I don't even need it. And then we're gonna tell this guy to go ahead and print. 
do, do perhaps if I remember my printer, I could just hit Control P. I normally use keyboard shortcuts, but I don't know. And I don't care about the image being larger than the image surface. I constantly get errors about that. Um, I pr prefer to have it do a little bit of clipping because it's actually keeping the image at the same ratio of the original, so I don't have surprises. It's that weird little printer margin. I, I, I feel like I deal with that printer margin less by telling it not to resize. And yeah, he's bonked out, so... <laughs> Figures right at the end, he's like, oh yeah, let me, get, let me catch that nap. But uh, yeah, so in Photoshop here, uh, it's 8.5 by 11 because that's the card size I'm working with. Uh, it's paper size I'm working with as well. And just use the move tool, drag down my little guideline to halfway around the page. So that's where the, the fold's going. And then I'm going to handwrite the inside of the card. So that's why I'm not doing a double-sided one. Just hit save. So his card has been saved. I'm just slap that into my current projects. I'll probably create a folder for it later. I tend to do other folders. And if, if Rowdy Robbie is still with us, you see that Beetlejuice Sculpt folder? You know what? I, I think that that might be what I'm going to, to bring on camera for the very end. Um, my printer's already dealing with that. I'll deal with the cut file. Unfortunately, I spent too long in uh, Cricut to have that cut out and weeded. The weeding does take a little bit of time. Um, I think... You know what? I'm going to experiment. I'm going to go ahead and, and shoot some video of a little bit of the weeding process and the definitely the application process. I think that is not too complicated video-wise. I'm only going to show you like maybe a minute of the weeding process because it it can be a little tedious and um, I'm not here for all of that and then I'll, I'll stitch the videos together the encoding process takes a minute but I'll, I'll go ahead and save that and maybe I'll just play that as a video during the stream tomorrow we'll see I, I'm not going to guarantee that one because video editing the encoding process takes fracking ages which is why I haven't even been editing my videos through YouTube editor all the time um, with YouTube editor what I, so what I do is I upload the stream video and then after that I go into the um, I go into the video editor there and I just remove like a couple minutes from the very beginning right before the the timer starts counting down the beginning of the uh, the stream so on videos that I have made that edit to, you expect to see like shorter time there, but videos I haven't, uh, generally the quote unquote wait time is like five minutes because I, I try to start the stream five minutes early just because a lot of times the notifications take a little while to appear. So if you're getting notified like a little bit late, at least I haven't like really gotten into something yet. So that's, that's the logic behind that. Um, I've already gotten a fuzzy on here. Meh. So I'll, I'll go ahead and paint the other side. I'm not going to do any video for that. Ooh, I got some spilled paint. But um, yeah, this is fairly quick and easy things. But you see, even quick and easy things in my book um, take like an hour or more. I'm gonna get that up while it's wet. Cause that's so much easier. Well, sometimes. And sometimes it smears, sometimes it's easier to wait for it to dry and just peel it. Like peeling up acrylic is sometimes really, really satisfying. But um, projects coming up, I am working on a commission where I need to do... Well, I don't need to do. It isn't the directive for the commission. But there is some um, paint pouring coming up. Uh, what else is there? Uh, Beetlejuice, yes. I remember the Beetlejuice sculpt. I'm going to have him just come down here and wave a little on camera and he's he's still not not done very far but I can keep him away from the wet paint here pretty easily uh, let me get this ruler out of the way before I put my elbow in it but 
So far I have the lower half of the body, I've blocked in the base, I have this, um, I used a glass-headed sewing pin to, uh, to act as my neck. I'm going to try to make it so he can turn his head too, but I'm not going to count on that. I'm, I'm looking at this as more of like just an anchor point. But as far as movement for the arms, I have these also glass-headed pins. I'm using these as ball joints for the arms and they can twist up and twist down. And there's a little bend for where the elbow is. So be able to just be able to chill out. Um, he can't bring his arms far towards the in front of his body because that's just, you know, it's not actually alive. People can kind of squish up a little bit. He can't. <laughs> but, yeah. And then the uh, the tombstone, which you not know, kind of see too much detail, but here lies Tully, question mark to 1991. And that is a, a reference to the Adams family because I'm a nerd and I, I decided I wanted to squish these two universes together. So in, in my head canon, Beetlejuice and the Adams family, same universe because why not? So lots of fun. Um, hopefully I've, I get a little bit more time to recharge and compose and get to some of that stuff because as you can see, I normally do this once a week to keep up with them. Uh, I've missed that by a day, but it's been hectic. Things have uh, gone a little bit off the rails as far as some of the planning uh, for Cricket. That last project from the Cricket, I said I was going to show it. So there is that. I'm going to try to back it up a little bit, but it's going to be off camera just a touch anyways. So that's the other thing I got done. Um, for whatever reason, just leaving it overnight on my mat has left a little bit of a sticky residue on the back, and I do not want to go over this with some of that uh, Gamsol because I don't know if this marker is waterproof. I don't know if this marker might lift when it's exposed to uh, solvents. So I may just Mod Podge it onto something. Maybe. I'm, I don't. I don't use Mod Podge. I'm. I'm not somebody who swears by it because it was. It's one of those weird things that when when the like the acrylic skin of it is dry. I, I think it's not acrylic. I think it's PVA. So I think P. Well, no. It, it probably is a type of acrylic. It reminds me of Future a little bit. The original Future floor polish, which Pledge bought and renamed it to something. I don't know what. That is decent as a a, a thin coat to uh to glaze uh, polymer clay with which bring it back over here um uh, yeah my, my little beetlejuice figure is polymer clay i'm currently using kato for him man that kato is so stiff and strong when it cures it's been an a, a wonderful adventure getting back into clay um i used to be a big fan of using like sculpey uh what else I was mixing Sculpey with uh, with Fimo. I would do a 50-50 mix. Uh, I, I, some polymer clay artists are like, don't do that. But I like the working properties between the two. It, it made it a soft enough clay. My hands generally are a little bit cold, so I'm good with being able to do like a softer clay to go ahead and get details because I'm not squishing most of those details out. Um, with the Kato, the Kato is a lot firmer and I feel like I can get away with like carving into it a little bit and getting those details in uh, as long as it's conditioned really well. So that's been that's been a pleasure so far. And I want to have him done for this summer in time for the commission. Uh, there is the other commission for the flower frame. I also want that to be done for the start of summer. There's also a Father's Day commission. Um, well, not. not not specifically a commission for that one. That, that is a gift that is incredibly late. I started in time for last Father's Day and it's still not finished. So like I said, right now I am just tackling my backlog because it's driving me up a wall to have a backlog. Um, I'm going to get back to painting this since we're already over time. And what are we doing tomorrow? Um, I may have that video done to do that for tomorrow as far as the 
uh, weeding out the vinyl, applying it here. I'm not going to show you the card because right now the card is really simple. It's just add a crease down the middle of it. Um, there's tons of YouTubers that do like card making. Um, it's a super basic technique. Um, I have a tool for it. Even if you don't have a tool for it, you could use the end of a credit card, the, the rounded part of the credit card, and just run it along the edge of a ruler. And that'll score your paper enough. You don't need to have high-tech toys or tools or gadgets, whatever you want to call them. But you can go ahead and do it nice and simple. So just find where your line is, blam, done. So, and, and then you'll be able to go ahead and crease your card. And you can also use the side of the credit card to fold your crease down. Um, I, I would suggest, I'm not going to show you my card because that's an active one. I, I do keep cards and occasionally grab them for that purpose, but you can use the side of it, the flat side, as long as the color is not going to transfer onto your paper, because some cards are not as good quality as others. Uh, generally, those gift cards have pretty good laminate on them, but you can use the, the other side of it. So after you've you've put your crease in and you're folding it, go ahead and score, you know, like, use the flat side of the card to go ahead and press down there, and that'll get you a nice, nice crisp crease. So low-tech ways to, to go ahead and do, uh, you know, just something nice. Um, I would get into making envelopes, but I'm not making an envelope for this card. I already have some pre-made ones that I got uh, generally for this purpose. Uh, what else? I I unfortunately do have to go, though. Um, shame, there's more I wanted to do on this project, but I'll see if this is ready for tomorrow. Um, in the very least, I'm going to spend a moment to go ahead and hit that sap green again. It has dried better. Um, I do like where it's headed. I'm just going to give it one more go. And then this will absolutely be the theme for tomorrow is getting this coated and uh, removed. I need to see what the dry time is. That'll decide which, which way I'll do this process so I can do as much of it on camera as possible. Just to have this finished because I don't like this one held, hanging over my head. I, I want it done. I want to move on to the new things and uh, get done the old things. I have some some other portrait works and whatnot. Uh, uh, lots of different media between polymer clay, sculpting, uh, some acrylic, lots of watercolor. Um, what else? And then there's prep for the flower show. So yeah, this this next between now and by the end of next month is going to be hectic with projects in a variety of media. So I do hope that you continue joining me and uh, occasional appearances with me working on my planner as well. Now that I can pace that a little bit, give it a little bit more time and try to squeeze that in. So like if I'm caught up on schoolwork, I'm going to be working on a chunk of that sticker layout um, at night. So that's going to be less of a plotting kind of thing because I do feel like me figuring stuff out on camera sometimes is incredibly tedious. So there's that. Um, I think that that's enough for now. But uh, go ahead and keep on creating. And thank you for joining me. And I'll see you soon. I absolutely, Rowdy Rowdy. Uh, says don't have to have high tech toys and gadgets, but it is fun to have them. Um, yeah, I, I agree. Um, that's why the, this was like one of the best splurges recently for me. Just because my, my cutting tool, I don't like. I don't like how the blade attaches to it, so that's why part of why I splurge for this. There's like a, an inking plate that goes on it. There's little spring-loaded bits. Uh, you can go ahead and swap this over to be like a like a wall for your scoring tool. So these have like grooves, so you can go ahead and score stuff. Uh, there's uh, some punches over here as far as like a corner runner punch, uh, an envelope punch. Uh, what else was on there? A uh, regular hole punch and. A uh, corner rounder. I think there's two corner rounders. No, this one's for for tabs. This this is the the tabs I did for my divider, and then this side is the corner rounder, and the other side is for the envelope. And there's other stuff in this tool too. Um, I might get around to those. Uh, another thing that I, that is in consideration. Um, I was thinking originally I was just going to use the foil for my journal in the gold. 
but then I pulled out like my my collection of foil so now I need to compare my tabs this paint is still wet which is why I'm like holding everything up really weird but uh I, I, I still have these in the bag because I don't want them to like wander too much but for how I put them in storage so we have uh, like a cobalt blue, silver, gold, black. The black is just really glossy. It was part of this this package of, of colors. I think they call it like midnight or something. Um, and then I also have like a red and purple pack. So I'm probably not doing the blue for anything for me, but I know some people who really appreciate blue. And then I have a, a, a sampling of deco foil colors. There's five sheets. Uh, they're they're all six by twelves, so pretty handy to have. Um, I just need to decide what color is going where. I have another thing of other foil, like a little pack of I think it's like Glimmer. I think it's or or it's called Glimmer foil. I forget what company it is, but those are just random fun things that I've been acquiring over years. So when I show you these things. Most of this stuff is not new. This has been over the course of years, and I've taken so long to get these things because I don't generally have funds to just be like, okay, I have this idea for a project, blam, 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 I got all of these things. Like, no, it's normally, I have an idea for a project, I'm going to be spending the next few months working up to get all the things I want to be able to do the project the way I want to. Um, ooh, actually. Another quick thing I'll, I'll yammer about before I cut off for today. Um, the dollar store has these metal ribbons, which sounds daft when you hear metal ribbon, like what, what are you talking about? But I, I wouldn't use these for jewelry necessarily, just not knowing what the metal content is. Maybe I, I would put like polymer clay under them if I wanted to use some metal strips, uh, assuming I can straighten them without damaging the pattern. But I have these two, they gifted to me by my lovely roommate who, who saw them in stock and grabbed them for me. Um, two different patterns. And these are definitely going in to that photo shoot idea that I had. So I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Maybe these will be like parts of like bracers or parts of like a crown because I haven't given you a lot of details on what that shoot idea is. And I'm going to leave it vague and just breadcrumbs breadcrumbs um so yeah you, you'll see me working with some metal um and of course paper along the way because i probably will do um some paper flowers for the shoot that's going to be a process um you know getting the spending the time to put them together which we'll, we'll see how that goes i don't know if i, I would do that on camera because i I am following like a YouTube tu tutorial for at least one of the flowers. I don't know what else I'll do, but just in general, prop making, uh, costume pieces, stuff like that. I I do like the world of cosplay, and I have not had the time, space, tools, materials. Like I've been not where I wanted to, to, to go ahead and dip my toe in. And the, the idea for this photo shoot is to basically put my, my toe out there and, and see if that's something that I can work towards, if, if, if it's fun. Because that, that is important. If I'm going to get into something, it's because I want it to be something that I like to do. I don't want to, to have that air of, you must do this thing. But anyway, yeah. I keep saying I'm wrapping up. Um, be creative, have fun, do the things, and I will see you tomorrow. Alright, bye for now.